Good morning! I'm really enjoying doing the vlogs, so today is gonna be another one. I really want to go for a walk because when I did the other day, I realized it really helps me to get outside and see the outside world. Know that it still exists. <laughs> I obviously don't have makeup on again because I just don't like to wear makeup when I just go for walks myself. I usually only wear makeup if it's for, I have to take pictures for Instagram or I'm going to meet someone and I just wanna look cute or even just for me sometimes, like it's nice to get ready just for yourself. But recently I've been not getting ready for myself. Like obviously I know that I probably look more awake and present with makeup on but also my skin is doing a lot a lot better so i'm like really embracing this <laughs> this cute skin that i have right now and also just like wearing masks with makeup is not my favorite thing obviously so i try to avoid it as much as i can i need to pick up my prescription at the pharmacy i need to also go to the bookstore just to look i need some new books to read reading has been a big thing during quarantine for me that has kept me sane and kept me present, especially the Tall Tech Wisdom books, which I spoke about in a few of my other videos, which I really, really recommend to you guys. So if you guys have any book recommendations too, please leave them down below. I'm always open to new reading material. Hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully this will be another fun vlog for you guys to watch. I just want to show you guys my outfit. Honestly, this outfit, <laughs> ignore the pile of clothes. It happens every morning because I go through so many shirts and try on so many things and then I don't want to put it back until later. This outfit is inspired by a photo of my mom from when I was a kid. She has this like black skirt on and this white shirt and these sort of glasses and I just really like the outfit so I wanted to recreate it in, on my own terms and then of course I always always use this green bag that I absolutely love. This is from Guess and I got this at the Melrose Trading Post. Honestly the best purchase I've ever made there. Yesterday, my projector broke and I don't own a TV. So my projector is the only thing I normally use to watch TV. And recently it broke yesterday, which I'm so heartbroken about. I got it from my older brother for Christmas and I honestly use it every single day. It still turns on, but when I turn it on, it's just like a blank screen so i don't really know what's going on but i do notice that it's been allowing me to kind of get out of the house more because i don't have that option to just be lazy in bed and watch netflix all day on my projector i really want to get a new one but right now my main priority is to get a new camera especially for vlogging it's really difficult for me to film i have to like film a few short clips like and airdrop them to my computer and delete them and then the whole cycle happens again. So I am looking into buying a camera, so I'm trying to save up, but obviously right now money is very tight with COVID and rent and stuff. So it's gonna take me a while, but I'm really hoping to do that. So maybe the projector will have to wait. I actually bought this raspberry scone mix from the grocery store the other day, and I'm really excited to try this out. I think I'm just gonna make them right now since it's 9.30 and I don't wanna leave the house too early because then I feel like I'm gonna be done with all my errands super early and not know what to do with myself by like 5 p.m., which I feel like happens quite often for me. I think it would be really nice to have these for breakfast and they're super easy to make. You just add water and bake them. I honestly don't bake that often and if I do, it's like chocolate chip cookies, so. Ah! It smells so good though. Wow. It really smells like raspberry. Do you guys see there's like chunks of raspberry in that? And I'm just going to pour it right in. It smells so good. Light. Ooh, wow. Oh, <laughs> you see the chunks of raspberry in there? I think I'm gonna do it with my hands. 
I'm probably gonna have to do two batches because my baking sheet, my baking pan is really small. Everything I have in this apartment is like miniature size. Got this set that came with everything, but I didn't realize that it was so tiny. Eventually I'd like to get things that are a little bigger, but for now this works just fine. And like for storage, like this, <laughs> for storage, it's honestly like way better to have small things, especially since I live in an apartment. So I'm gonna go wash this off and wait until our oven is heated and then we're gonna put these bad boys in the socket. Let's do this. In there. Ah! Let's set a little timer. God, it smells so good in here. Let's take a peek. <gasps> wow. I thought we had an oven mitt, but I can't find it. Those look so good. <laughs> So warm. So I'm going to take these off of the pan so I can cook the next batch. It looks so good. It's perfect. It's so happy. Now look at the bottom. Oh, so proud of myself. I love cooking and baking. I feel like oh, that one's so perfect. Look at that. I really feel like it's so therapeutic and it makes you feel productive, you know, like you've done something with your day and then you can enjoy the fruits of your labor for hopefully several days after. And it's kind of like meal planning for me as well because as you guys know, it was really hard for me to gain an appetite for a while during quarantine. I'm just trying to fill my days with delicious homemade foods that I can't resist. That way I can maintain a, a nice, Healthy weight, at least. These bad boys are going in. The ones are ready. I get it. I feel like the sizing on these, ow, 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 turned out a little bit better just because they're more even and uniform. Let me show you. Like, how amazing does that look? And the bottom is perfectly golden brown. Oh, this one feels so nice and soft and supple. Gorgeous! I'm so proud of myself. Look at that. Scone. We're gonna try this one out just like plain first. Oh, wow. Obviously like a scone, you definitely need a drink with it, but it's really light and airy in the middle. I don't know if you can tell. And it has a really nice raspberry like hint of flavor. I think it's really good though. I think it would be really good with some butter and jam on it. Yeah, I'm gonna take this to my room and edit a little bit and then we're gonna head out. I just wanted to talk a little bit about my anxiety levels and how I'm feeling today. Honestly, I feel so much better today compared to yesterday when my other vlog was filmed. I feel so fresh and reborn. So I think the self-care that I did yesterday really did help. So I'm glad that I'm doing it again today. I feel energetic and like I can go and have fun. So I'm really excited and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this keeps happening and I don't get anxiety or stress today. You never know. And like I said, healing is never linear. You know, it goes up and down and you're gonna have some bad days but that doesn't mean it's a setback it's still progress so that's what i'm trying to look at it like take life one day at a time i'm listening to throwback hits again and just listen to price tag by jesse J. so good i really recommend that song that sort of music just makes me feel so happy like it's impossible to be sad with a throwback hit on So I went and picked up my prescription and ran a couple of other errands I had in the area. But now I'm going to walk to Barnes and Nobles and we're gonna look at some possible books. How beautiful. So there's a Blick art supply store here and I think I'm gonna go in just to look. This always reminds me of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. 
The guy in that coffee shop was so, so nice. He was telling me about South America and how he had just been to Colombia because we were talking about my name and where it's from. Got myself an iced coffee. I've been into drinking coffee again recently. I don't know why, it, just, it tastes really good. I have like one a day now. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. It does stain my teeth. My teeth are so sensitive to coffee. This is such a pretty area that I'm passing by. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm home! Oh my goodness, that was tiring. I'm going to make myself a late lunch. <laughs> Eating this again. Mmm, this is better than yesterday's. Guys, you have to chop fresh basil and put it on top. Honestly, it's not the same without the basil. It makes so much of a difference. Hopefully I don't need a scissor because I don't have one. This one's from Maybelline. Ooh, <gasps> fun. So this is the new Color Strike eyeshadow pen. I'm actually really excited to try this out. I have no idea what this is. I don't wanna have to go get the scissors. So these shoes are from Knockwall. I love Knockwall so much. Ooh, pretty. So they're another pair of white sneakers. I literally live for white sneakers. I wear my other pair from Knockwall every single day. I'm really glad to have another pair and now I can alternate a little bit. <laughs> thank you so much for sending these to me and thank you so much to Maybelline as well. Love you guys so much. I will use all this stuff well. Thanks. I also bought a few things at Barnes & Noble, a few books, a few posters, and a few clothing items. So if you want to see the haul video, you can click this card right now and it'll It'll take you there. Yeah, I decided to make a separate video because I thought it would be a little bit long. So I think that's all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed today's vlog. It was a chill one. We just hung out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share with any friends you think would enjoy as well. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves today and every day. Love you.